So Reddit is a pretty awesome website. They bill themselves as the front page of the internet. And that's exactly what it is. It's a news aggregator. So what you see on it is a bunch of links to a bunch of websites. Everything you see in blue is a link to a website. For example, this picture of the skull is an article about Neanderthals, which you can find in Wikipedia. Another example is this article about Google links to the Washington Post. If I click the link, it takes me to the article in the Washington Post. And if I click the back button, I'm back to Reddit. But what makes Reddit really special is the democratic process by which articles rise to the top of the front page of the internet. And you can see that very, very clearly on this side of the page, where you see numbers, and the highest numbers rise to the top. Uh, this, one, this one has a score of almost 6,000. And uh, the lower you go, the lesser score that it has. So as opposed to the New York Times, where only maybe a dozen people decide what goes on the front page, here, you know, countless thousands of people decide what uh, news rises to the top. So that sounds pretty democratic. Now, having said all that, I'm not saying it's unbiased. I mean, after all, two thirds of the world isn't even on the internet. So it's definitely not unbiased. But then again, it's uh, way more democratic than some of the alternatives out there. But hopefully by now you realize that Reddit's pretty awesome and you want to be a part of it. Both me and my wife check it once a day uh, and make it part of our daily news consuming regimen. But the reason why I'm making this video is it's not that easy to get in on the ground floor. I mean, look at this website, for gosh sakes. There's lots of tiny words here at the top. There's big, big gobs of text in the middle. There's some blogging-y kind of thing, an ad-y kind of thing here on the side. I, how do I, where do I start on this thing? Well, the key to Reddit is how to customize it to news that you are interested in. That's the key to successfully navigating Reddit. Right now, I'm going to talk about using it for a serious news reading case. Now, you don't have to use it to read serious news. You can use it to read about nothing but cats if you want. But for this example, I'm going to examine the case of somebody who wants to use Reddit to read serious news from around the world. So how would you go about doing that? Well, the key to that is by clicking on this word right here. In the tippy top corner, it says more. Go ahead and click on that. And wow, this takes you to the world of subreddits. Because Reddit is actually divided into thousands of subcategories, some of which you're interested in and some of which you're not interested in. For example, this subreddit is called Picks. This one is called Funny. This one is called Gaming. You know it's a subreddit because that slash R before it, anything with slash R before it is a subreddit. Now, like I said, I'm going to examine the case where you're really only interested in, in serious news. So right off the bat, I'm not that interested in pictures or funny things or gaming. So I'm going to unsubscribe from them. I'm going to click this red unsubscribe button. Now, the first time you click the unsubscribe button, you have to create an account. Uh, I'm going to create a username. Uh, you don't even have to give an email. All you need is a password. And then you have to pass the robot test. And it's really that simple. You're in. And now you can really tailor Reddit to your interests. I'm going to unsubscribe from all the entertainment subreddits like pictures and funny and gaming. Aha! Here's one that I am interested in. World news. Keep subscribed to that one. Ooh, US and international news. Keep subscribed to that one. Uh, videos. No thank you. So I've just tailored Reddit to suit my interests. And now I, you know, I won't see any more, you know, funny cats or anything like that. Uh, to get back to the home page, you, you can just click on the little Reddit alien, or, and that takes you back to the home page. And now, as you can see, the articles look very, very different than they used to. You don't see any more, you know, cat videos. You see stuff about hepatitis from the BBC, which was submitted to the science subreddit. You see something about Google which was submitted to the technology subreddit, and it links to the Washington Post. So I've just created my, for myself a really democratic, really awesome news aggregator. Now, if you want to go back and see some popular funny cats, you can still do that. You would just click all up here. And all will take you back to where you started, which was seeing all subreddits. And sure enough, I'm back to my funny cats. If you want to go back to the serious news, you go back 
to the front page. The front page is your front page. It's stuff that I care about. In this case, it's serious news. Um, that's it. You've done it. You are now in a position to consume news from lots of sources in a very democratic way. Um, there's much, much more to Reddit. I'll briefly brush on some other things you can do. Part of the magic of Reddit is there's jillions of subreddits about the most eclectic of interests. You can type anything. I mean, literally anything up here. I could type Star Wars, and lo and behold, there's a Star Wars subreddit with like 10,000 subscribers. I can subscribe to it by clicking here and further fine tune my Reddit experience. If you want to submit your own links, submit your own news, you would do that by clicking up there. That's a pretty advanced thing. I'm not going to talk about talk any more about that right now. And finally, uh, each of these articles actually has an immense, immense discussion behind it. For example, the, the hepatitis article has 900 comments on it. I'm going to go ahead and click on that and look at this very, very rich discussion uh, about probably about hepatitis, which you can take part in if you want. Again, that's kind of an advanced thing. I'm not going to talk a whole lot about that right now. That just gives you an idea of the layers and layers and layers of this onion and how rich of a website and how popular of a website that it is. So there you have it. Uh, you have the tools now to do the very, very, very basics of Reddit, which is to say create a news aggregator that's democratic, that's uh, very wide in scope, linking to a variety of sources, uh, from which you can consume news or entertainment or whatever it is, whatever kind of information uh, you want to consume. Go out there and enjoy Redditing.